Uh, yes, so my name is Josh. Um, I'm a coach educator here at Murumidiga. Um, I'm a proud Muriwari man up in Northwest New South Wales. Um, I grew up in Sydney in a place called Mandroot. Um, I feel very proud of what I do. Um, there's not many people in my community do what I do as well, so that's why I want to inspire other young Indigenous people what I do. Um, I think it's very important too to share our culture as well and our knowledge of what we have. Miramedica is a not-for-profit social enterprise that was founded by the Darug community and uh, other members and uh, interested people back uh, almost 20 years ago. Uh, we help empower job seekers and school leavers, uh, engage with the workforce, contemplate their career and we help through our commercial contracting arrangements and our services to provide employment which is needed in the workforce. So the Mirror Medica business model is generally divided up into three main areas, which is country, community and culture. We provide meaningful jobs through all three of those services. Uh, country is our contracting fee-for-service model where most of our people are employed. Uh, culture is our uh, knowledge and um, culture services that we provide with our students, teachers and corporate groups. And community is our community financial counselling and uh, provision of no interest loan scheme which is provided right across the country with other NELS providers. So I run programs with um, preschools, primary schools, universities. I also run uh, culture awareness programs with other organisations. Um, we do tourism as well, which is another one. Um, yes, yeah, so pretty much we do, we teach culture, um, teach them our connection, our stories, um, show, them, walk, show them a bit of our bush medicines, bush foods, um, do an art class as well, so we show them different arts, so show them how to tell stories by using symbols, um, show them how to crush up some ochre, how to use it, what we use it for, and things like that. Since Josh has become a team leader in our culture area, uh, some of our younger staff have learned a lot from what he has learned uh, since he's started at Muru, um, also through the guidance of his father and also through other elders in the community, he's been able to share that knowledge and continue that journey of his own you know, heritage and experience. Uh, yes, yeah, so the team who I work with, um, they're pretty good workers. Um, David and Richard, I'm the youngest out of all of them. So um, yeah, I learned a lot of them as well because um, we're all from different um, parts of the country. Uh, I learned a bit about their uh, culture and I teach them a bit about my culture. So uh, we all work together as a team. The first point I always like to make is there's a whole bunch of proud and very uh, highly productive and very filled Aboriginal people in society. So that group of people who we have a very proud workforce working in Miramidika alongside all those very willing participants and contributors that, from a non-Aboriginal background in the commercial and community sector can achieve some fantastic things to help that very small minority of people that are classified as at risk or had a very unfortunate background or upbringing uh, through no fault of their own. The Westpac Foundation Social Scale-Up Grant will be a huge help. Uh, we're a fully self-funding organisation, so any investment or assistance from others to help us ramp up our business development and ramp up our capacity, uh, particularly for our Aboriginal uh, management staff and lead, future leaders, um, is always a great thing because then our model can simply benefit from a higher volume of work, which means more employment outcomes for the people we're trying to help.